What is up guys? So very recently on Twitter, the showrunner behind Arrow, or the former showrunner really, ever since season 7 started, they got a new showrunner. This, uh, the uh, former showrunner, Mark Guggenheim, still does work on the show as what? I honestly don't know, like a producer or something, but he posted a picture about the production of Arrow season 8 saying that it is, and I think, starting to film really soon, but he posted these pictures of these costumes, very, very small pictures, like uh, the actual, uh, the, the, they don't really see a large portion of the costume, it's a very, very small small portion of both of these costumes, especially the one on the left, but I think I can decipher maybe who these costumes belong to, at least in my predictions. You have these two costumes, one of which we know doesn't belong to Oliver, the one on the right. Mark Guggenheim later tweeted, like a couple days later or something, that the this costume, the uh, the one with the green stripe on it, with the mostly black, it doesn't belong to Oliver, which means that he didn't really specify anything about the other costume, so maybe that other one does belong to Oliver. Which, in my opinion, would be a little bit weird, because if this is the Oliver of our universe, then why would we be getting a new costume in the last season, when he only has a couple episodes left, like 14 episodes left in the Arrowverse as far as we know? His costume right now, especially when he's wearing the mask and the hood, is pretty perfect. I, I really see no way to make it better, and I think it's it's a costume that's out for a while, there's no need to change it. So if this this costume, the, the one on the left, is a new costume for Oliver, then I don't really, I, I really don't think that that would work. But it's also possible that it's a new costume for Oliver of a different universe, which I do have a couple problem, problems with that as well. For one, they really shouldn't introduce an Oliver of a, a different universe, except for maybe one that's played by a different actor, because if they do, it might take away from the impact of Oliver's death or anything like that. But also, if they were to introduce an Oliver of a different universe, then he could just wear the same costume, and he probably would, or even a different costume to differentiate, maybe the Arrow costume, maybe the Season 4 costume, maybe the Season 5 costume without the, or with the mask and the hood just to differentiate and because of that I really don't think this costume belongs to Oliver I just think that a lot of people thought that the one on the left the more green looking one did belong to Oliver so maybe Marco and I wanted to specify that it didn't not saying anything about the one on the left even though that does kind of hint that the one on the left is Oliver's I don't think it is which means that the other options are it's probably it's, it probably belongs to someone in the flash forwards and who would that be? Well, it probably Mia. She is seemingly the Green Arrow of the future, even though they already established a Green Arrow in the future a couple seasons ago in Legend of Tomorrow with John Diggle Jr., a character who will also be appearing in the, in the next season, played by the, in, by a different actor. But I, I think this is probably Mia's, which I honestly don't care about. You guys already know probably that I don't care about the flash forwards. Not only do I not care about it, but it's the other way around. It's like I, I don't care about it so much that I dislike it. I think it takes away from the show immensely in season 7 so if this is a costume for Mia then that would be so disappointing because I don't want them to waste their budget or their time where they can make costumes for maybe cooler characters better characters quite possibly characters from other universes and instead use that money and that time for costumes for the flash forward characters which really wouldn't like that but I do think this is probably Mia's if it's not Mia the only other characters in the flash forwards that would have costumes are, are Zoe who she can get a black canary costume and I guess John Diggle Jr. or Connor Hawk who could both get costumes as well but I would probably think that this does belong to Mia and that's gonna get that's gonna be her black star costume in the next season if that's the name she's going with which again really I'm not looking forward to that at all but out of, out of these two costumes this is the costume that I think has the least potential or the less potential I think the one on the right the one with the green stripe which is mostly black has the potential to be the costume of a very significant character, a character you already saw in the title and the thumbnail, and that's the Green Lantern. So just to add some backstory to that prediction, which it's just a prediction, I don't know at all if this costume is the Green Lantern, I mean it probably isn't, but out of all the possibilities for who this costume belongs to, the Green Lantern is what I want to see the most, obviously, but the, just to add some backstory to that, if you don't already know, John Diggle, a character who's been on Arrow since the very first episode, and he, he was an original character who was integrated into the comics as a separate character from Jon Stewart, but in the latest season of Arrow, there were some retcons involving the character that made him the Jon Stewart of Earth-1, it turns out his Earth-90 counterpart, who is friends with the Flash, has a ring, meaning that he's probably Green Lantern. John Diggle has always had a lot of similarities to Jon Stewart in a lot of ways, which is why there's always been a theory that he is Jon Stewart, or at least he will become a Green Lantern. And above all that, or maybe not above, but along with all that, in the latest season of, of uh, Arrow, along with that Elseworlds reference, there was, later in the season, an inter we were introduced to a new character, Roy Stewart, who is the stepfather of John Diggle, who, by the end of the episode, 
Lord. John Diggle sees him more as a st as a real father than his actual biological father. Roy Stewart is the grandfather of John Stewart in the comics. They could change that. They've done that for a lot of characters where he would be the father or even the stepfather. It's it's reasonable to say that John Diggle can change his name to John Stewart in the next season. Like that's definitely a possibility. I don't think it's likely, but it is a possibility, seeing as he sees Roy Stewart as his father more than uh, whatever his la his first name was, Diggle, his biological father making him the Jon Stewart of Earth-1, and it's reasonable to say as well that he could become a Green Lantern. The show, or the current showrunner behind the show said that Jon Diggle as a Green Lantern is to be continued, whether or not she was talking about the introduction of Roy Stewart, or more likely he will become a Green Lantern in the future, I don't know, but I do think it's very possible that Season 8 will incorporate the Green Lantern uh, part of the DC Universe into the Arrowverse through Jon Diggle or Jon Stewart, and I think this costume might be his first costume as a Green Lantern. This costume, I think, looks a little similar to Spartan's current costume, where it's mostly black with a little bit of red. I think that this, although the design is certainly different, the actual zipper and the fact that it's mostly black and there's a little bit of a different color where it was red there, here it would be green. I think it definitely looks at least a little bit similar to uh, Diggle's current costume, the, what he's had since Season 6. On top of that, the fact that the sleeves are green, maybe there's a little bit more green there in the costume than what it looks like here, where it looks mostly black with a little bit of green. The sleeves are clearly green, so maybe the pants area is green as well. Maybe there's a lot more green than we see here. And the other, only other characters other than the Green Arrow to get a green-based costume would be John, will be the would be Green Lantern. On top of that, the fact that it's it looks like it's more black than green, even though it might not be, actually does fit John Stewart quite well because in in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, the shows that really, really popularized Jon Stewart as a Green Lantern, to the point where, as a kid, he was the only Green Lantern that I knew about, or at least was a fan of, but his costume is mostly black with a little bit of green. The whole Green Lantern Corps costume in that universe is a lot more black than it is green, at least for the shows uh, originally, so I think mean, this costume would definitely fit this character. I think it would work. It's a practical suit. A lot of people didn't like the CGI-based suit in the movie, so it would make sense that they would go for a practical suit obviously that's also it also makes sense because CGI is very expensive especially for a suit which would have to be the CGI would have to be on all the time and arrow doesn't really have a very big budget so the, the fact that they're going with a practical suit it makes a lot of sense the fact that it kind of looks like the, the Spartan suit makes a lot of sense and the fact that it's a lot more black with a little bit of green or at least a lot less green than black that also fits the character as well making me think that this costume quite possibly will be the Green Lantern costume that John Diggle or John Stewart will be getting in the next season. Which, if true, if this costume is indeed uh, for John Diggle and he is becoming a Green Lantern, then I'm pretty damn excited. Green Lantern is a pretty prominent member of the DC Universe, and the fact that he's not really been in the Arrowverse has been disappointing, along with a large amount of other DC characters. And I honestly would prefer John Stewart over Hal Jordan anyway. So if John Diggle is actually John Stewart, which at this point he practically is, if he becomes a Green Lantern, which it does look like he might, I am extremely excited. It would make him a much better character. It would complete the Arrowverse as a DC Universe so much more. And it, w it would have the potential for a spin-off show so much more than whatever Star City 2040, future Star City people want to see Arrow Beyond or something. I don't care about that. That's not what I want to see. I want to see a spin-off show starring David Ramsey as Jon Stewart slash or Diggle as the Green Lantern. Also, a Deathstroke show would be cool as well. So that is it for the this video, my predictions of what this costume can be. I have to say, again, I don't know if I'm right. I would love for the costume on the right to be, to be for the Green Lantern, and I would much prefer the costume on the left to not be a character in the Flash Forwards, but I honestly think it's more likely for both of them to be for the Flash Forwards because... I, basically every time I make a prediction, or a large amount of the times I make a prediction for Arrow, I'm sorely disappointed by the results, or at least uh, most of the time. So I'm expecting to be uh, disappointed here, I'm expecting for this not to be a costume for Diggle, and uh, not to be a Green Lantern costume, and I'm also expecting for both of them to be costumes for characters in the Flash Forwards, in, and in terms of that... I'm ready to be let down, honestly, but let me know what you think. Do you think that the costume on the right belongs to John Diggle and it is a Green Lantern costume? And who do you think the costume on the left belongs to? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.